Shamika, let's talk about Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who recently delivered a very, very uh, interesting takedown of Bill Maher, who was going on and on about how he couldn't possibly forgive Ron DeSantis for being an election denier or for backing election deniers. And Ron DeSantis had this very sharp com comeback. Let's have a listen. But you campaigned for, for election deniers in 2022. This I do not forgive. Well, to, to look. quote the Godfather. <laughs> I, I, I mean, <laughs> Carrie Lake, who said Biden is an illegitimate president, Trump didn't. Well, now she's attacking me, so maybe I did make a mistake there, because uh, she's out there saying, she, she's you... trying to say that we mandated vax in Florida when we did the opposite. We protected people even from private mandates. So, so, so that may have been. But Trump but... lost the election, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so why did you campaign for people who Because I wanted to see Republicans win key races. And I think it's important. That's not now. a deal breaker issue for you? That's not democracy? Well, okay, well, let's go back to 2016. Uh, your friends in Hollywood were cutting ads telling the Electoral College to, to vote against Trump in, in the Electoral College because it was stolen. They said Russia stole the election. For years they said that. So don't act like this is like okay. a unique well, thing in modern history of the country. First... I've got to say, Ron DeSantis is just superb when under attack. He, he never seems flustered. You know, I think he does a good job with communication. I actually was a little bit disappointed, honestly, Rita, because I felt like it was weak. You know, if you really <coughs> thought that there was some type of discrepancies with the 2020 election, I think it's okay to say that and stand by whatever you said or believed then. You don't have to switch it up now that you're ha having your feet held to the fire. So I would have liked for DeSantis to actually say, I thought Carrie Lake would make a great governor of Arizona, opposed to backtracking a little bit because Bill was putting the heat on him. I saw another clip uh, where Bill told him, let's be honest, Ron, if you were doing well in the polls, you wouldn't be here. And I think that that is absolutely true. If he was doing as well as he wished he was, he wouldn't have to do some of these shows. But I don't like the flip-flopping. Even if you feel like you made a mistake, I think you should say, you know, I do believe there was some sort of discrepancies in the uh 2020 election, if you said it, stand by it, because either you were lying then or you're lying now. Well, he's coming second in, in the race to Donald Trump, and he's the one man I want to ask you about next. He's uh, delivered a savage take on pop star Taylor Swift's latest romance with Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey. Uh, the media frenzy surrounding this uh, developing relationship is intense, Shamika. Um, we've had Taylor Swift attend another Chiefs game, this time with a bunch of her Hollywood mates, including Hugh Jackman. Now, this quote from Trump is just classic, classic Trump. He said, I wish the best for both of them. I hope they enjoy their life, maybe together, maybe not. Most likely not. <laughs> That's been interpreted as rather harsh, but Shemiko, I think um, he's probably going to be on the money there. For sure, I, because I think it's just a, a plot, a ploy, you know, to actually push liberalism or push left-leaning policies. Kelsey is also now pushing the vaccine. He's pushing a car with the one of the credit people here in America, Experian. And so it, to me, is just all orchestrated to keep us focused on ridiculousness opposed to the issues that we need to honestly be paying attention to, such as illegal immigration, such as these high gas prices or high grocery prices, the way that Americans are struggling every day because of the, the shambles, if you ask me, that the economy is in. Although Biden keeps telling us this is a great economy and we're doing well, my grocery bill says otherwise. So I think when they get us 
focused on these celebrities that really have nothing to offer us, who have nothing in common with us, then we don't pay as much of attention as we should to the things that matter, which is actually living a decent life and being able to take care of ourselves and our children. So I think it's a plan. I don't think that they'll be together long, you know, past the football season. It's a distraction and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, distract people from the real issues. Now, I get everything you said about it being a distraction and, and, and the media uh, just uh, going nuts with it, and we're discussing it here, but are you saying you don't even believe this uh, relationship is really legitimate? It's some sort of a uh, publicity stunt? Because, I mean, that can't be true, surely. Yeah, I think it's a publicity stunt. You know, Travis hasn't even been uh, interested in these type of women. And Taylor bounces from man to man. And she's so left-leaning, she doesn't want a man that's actually going to tell her what to do. She is a left-leaning feminist. And so I just don't think she's going to be here long. She's been unmarried for so long, something must be wrong with her. So yes, I do think that this is a publicity stunt and that it, it won't last long at all. I just don't see it happening. Shamika, I no, I'm sure it's uh, real love. It may be temporary love, but uh, surely it's real. Uh, Shamika, Michelle, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Rita.